Now in my journey to find the most deadly weapon in Space Engineers, the next weapon we'll be looking at is the Cluster Munition or the Cluster Bomb. This is designed by Daddy Demo. This is about two years old now and this is extremely lethal. But enough talking, let's show you this in action. So we've got a base down there. We're going to line ourselves up on the center of the target. We're going to activate the script command like so. That'll activate the spinning sequence. And there's the cluster munitions releasing. Now, this design is really quite cool because the spinning increases. And with a higher spin, the spread increases as well of the cluster munitions. So they get a, a wider spread, of course, from a higher altitude that will give it more time to spread out. And as these are going down, currently there is no turrets on, but we'll turn turrets on. And we'll see what sort of damage. That rover has been blown completely out of the perimeter of this little base. So coverage is not too bad at the moment. We've got some warheads that haven't exploded. Some are going wide. That rover on the perimeter hasn't been hit at all. But you can see just how deadly cluster munitions are. That rover really got hit hard. It got so hit hard, so hard. It bounced out of the place. But yeah, cluster munitions are lethal. So let's conduct some testing with them today. Now for this second test, this grid is now owned by the Space Pirates, so the base will have a chance at intercepting it, so to say. So let's see what we can do here. We need to get our target cursor over the target to start with, like so. We'll center it the best we can, try not to use up all the hydrogen because there isn't much left, and then we'll launch the system. So the system is now launching, using up that last bit of hydrogen that we've got in the tank. And it is starting to drop these. Now, you could use this, of course, in space. And that's something I'll do some testing of a little bit later. But it's just spewing them little warheads off. So as we're coming down here, it looks like we're actually a little bit off target. Rockets are coming in, intercepting them cluster munitions. Are any breaking through, though? That's the question. Uh, we've got a singular one through. The whole idea of the cluster munitions is just to overwhelm the defenses. If this was better aimed, there we go, one on the base, <laughs> blew that completely out there. So if that cluster munition was better aimed, it would have broke through. So that's the, one of the exciting elements of a cluster munition. When you hit them with so many warheads, the turrets simply can't shoot them all down. So there's still a significant bit of damage to the base there. If Aaron was a better shot, um, and wasn't so drifted off to one side, we would have landed some more shots on target. But that's another part of this weapon. If you do get too close to it, then warheads are extremely exposed on this sort of shaft here. Let's do a little bit more testing, though. Now, for our next test, we have got another one of these cluster munitions, but we've got ourselves the Inic outpost below. This is a bigger outpost with more turrets, more Gatling gun turrets. Oh, let's not lock onto anything here. But we're going to try and be a bit of a better shot here. So let's grab ourselves our camera. Let's try and level ourselves off the best we can with the fuel that we've got. Um, I think that's going to be a good shot. Let's have a look down, look up at it and see just how far off target we are here. Oh, that'll be perfect, that. Let's release. So we're starting the timing block or the computer block that has started the spinning motion. Okay, it started to spin. Now, if they didn't launch intercepting fighters, a weapon like this would be really deadly. So let's have a look how much we're off target now. So we've not really accounted for the drift too much, but cluster munitions are inbound. They are being engaged by turrets. Turrets are taking some out, but some are some breaking through. Yes, some are broke through. Yeah, we've still got quite a bit of damage going on here. Whole of that factory's hit. The turrets are just struggling at this point. Yeah, that is some serious collateral damage, that. So the turrets can only hold off for so long. Look at the damage that it's done to the ship there. It's blown a massive hole in the front of it. The whole of that warehouse is gone. So even a big base like this is extremely vulnerable to cluster munitions. So this is a weapon you might want to think about adding to your arsenal. So I brought the testing now up to space. We've got the desert skybox in the background. That might confuse you a little bit, but we are in space. I do guarantee it. Now we've got the cluster munition here, and we're going to be using this as a sort of a attack run this time. So we've got this large sort of starport here. That's it's not going anywhere it's definitely a big target it's got some really nice reinforced blast doors and it's got this central corridor in the inside now this would be really useful to see if we're able to breach with this weapon inside the starport so there we are we're going to get ourselves into the cockpit we're going to check our camera we're currently upside down let's let's fix that right there and we're going to add a slight acceleration because we are in space gravity is not here to help us so a slight acceleration is going on. Then we're going to cut the acceleration at halfway, activate our timer block, and see what happens. Okay, we might not get anything working this time unless we hit the brakes, for instance, like so. Let's hope we don't blow up. There we go. 
cluster munitions have been released. This is definitely not the way of how to use it. Space has some very different effects on how they release. Of course, they've not got any momentum of their own. So it's covering a really wide area. Let's have a look what happens when it impacts. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous destruction. It looks like some of the explosions actually push some of the other warheads away. But mixed in with these warheads, you'll notice that there is some decoys. I don't know if you spotted that before to try and draw some of the enemy fire. Now let's have a look at the damage to the starport and it looks like it's done pretty well. It's damaged the whole of this sort of glass wing up here. Down here we do have a breach into the inner starport. Let's have a look inside here, see if there's any other breaches that I can see. So just a main breach here, there's a lot of metal, a lot of space in armour going in the way there as well. Coming up to the top, lots of damage on this glass area and it looks like they've ripped into the top of the starport there as well. So it is quite that. This is also damaged. So there's some damage that's been carried and blasted off this side. Has anything happened over here as well? So this side of the starport's been damaged as well, and this has been ripped apart. The door's got a bit of damage there as well. So the, the starport did hold up a lot better against the cluster munition, and this is not really the focus of the cluster munition because you saw how I had to break with it then in space, but you could use a similar idea with a mixture of decoys and warheads and launch it towards a target. Of course, that would be almost impossible against a ship, but a station like this, you could inflict some serious damage. But let's get back to doing some more testing with this cluster munition. Now for our next test, we have another ship in our sights. But we've learned a lesson from the last one. The warheads are now primed and we're going to go in and this time we're going to accelerate. We're going to get up to that 40 meters a second, like I said. Then we're going to hit that like so. We're going to activate the computer systems. But this time, as we activate the computer systems, we are going to tap on the thrust so we're keeping everything steady warheads are releasing and i'm starting to tap on the thrust here so that we can get some spread on this attack all right so there we go that is that released we've also got the missile going in with this one so we'll let the missile go in i don't know if we've released everything a little bit too slowly and these would be a bit easy to intercept yeah these would definitely be too easy to intercept we need to do this at maximum speed i think to even get these through so we've got a big spread now going of warheads. Oh, we're gonna miss. Are we gonna miss? I hope we hit that ring as well and rip a piece of that off. This looks like a really good spread. Look at that spread though. It's almost like that star pattern. So we've got really good recoverage. We haven't got anything to intercept it. This would be perfect for like a sneak attack weapon. So let's see if these warheads are going to detonate. There we go. Big hits. Oh, I don't know what's happened there. Even more hits. Some of the decoys are impacting now. Secondary big hit in the middle. Oh, it doesn't like it. These big ships don't like being hit. Oh, it looks like we've got some misses. Anything impacting that ring? Yes, we've got a hit on the right side of the ring. Let's go in and have a little bit closer. We've got more impacts on the inside there. We've got another warhead going for that large thruster housing up at the top there. Yeah, there's so many blocks in this build here. As these are hitting, it, the game is just not liking it at all. Go on, come on, Gabe. You could survive this. Oh, you're not going to crash on me now, are you? There we go. Yeah, every, every impact is just recreating more and more separate grids here. That was a really good shot. So there we go. That looks like engine base hit. I think the rest have missed their target. The ones that spread out really far have completely missed. So let's have a look at our damage. So we've got a big hull penetration right here. That's rips the armor all into the hangar bay. Very nice. And then I saw that we had an impact on the inside somewhere as well down there. But this part of this ring has almost been ripped off completely. Very cool. We've got the engine bay that's been damaged. All the thrusters have been ripped off. On this side, we've got it nearly disconnected over there again. Oh, it looks like it is disconnected. So great work from the cluster munition. And then we've got some fragmentation that looks like it's gone through the armor there. So these cluster munitions are something to take really serious. And even if you do have a lot of weapons systems on your ship station or your ground base, if you, well, oh there, <laughs> that was the missile hitting at the end. Yeah, even if you do have all these defenses in place, if they overwhelm them, and this seems to be a common thing with the weapon systems these days, if you overwhelm the systems with just mass amounts of warheads or missiles or whatever you want to call them, you seem to be able to defeat a lot of the systems. So that's something there to bear in mind. But I would keep this system probably strictly for ground use. You'd park above the target, drop the cluster munition down, and then it does everything itself. It's a lot less reliable reliant then on the player to have to try and time and work out when to launch things and get them the right sort of mass and acceleration but we can have a look at some more cluster weapons in the future now there's always time for one more test and of course in our target sites we have 
the Excelsior. So we're going to learn from our mistakes last time. We're going to get maximum acceleration. We're going to hit the rotary button. Then we're going to reduce acceleration as best we can here. Come on, right? That's that's good acceleration. That back to the camera. And here come the cluster munitions. <laughs> oh, this is actually really, really accurate cluster munitions coming from that. Oh, I think we slowed down a little bit too much at the end there, though. And we lost some. Oh, the whole car of that thing's been gutted out. Yeah, cluster munitions. I don't know if they're more deadly than the, the clang weapon that we looked at in the past. You'll have to let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. But they have completely gutted the insides of this. And you can see that spread pattern here as well. Since the ship stopped and I lost momentum, the spread and that spiral sort of star effect as these cluster munitions are spread out is just more visible. But let me know what you think of a weapon like this in Space Engineers. If you think it's effective, how would you utilize it? Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button because it really does help. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.